Hey guys and welcome to a new video, a sunset inspired makeup tutorial. Here's a quick before and after before we start our makeup transformation. We always start with the instant light spray makeup base to make sure that we hydrate the skin and give her the extra glow. And with my fingertips, I make sure that I spread the product all over her skin. Next is foundation and I'm using foundation in number 35, the Divine Matte Liquid Foundation with my foundation brush in number 36 to spread all over her skin. It's a medium to full coverage foundation so I usually try as much as I can to build the intensity of the foundation as I go. After that, I'm gonna start with the highlight and I'm using the concealer in number one with my concealer brush, which is in number 18 to highlight under her eyes, the forehead as well. And also her chin and the sides of her lips. Now it's time to contour and I'm using the Divine Matte Liquid Foundation in number 50 to add into the areas that I want to add more shadow to like the forehead, the nose, her cheekbones, and also her chin area. After drawing the outline of my contour and highlight, it's now time to blend everything together. And I usually start blending with the highlighted areas and after that I'm gonna use my foundation brush to puff out all the harsh lines of my contour and highlight. I make sure while blending to always keep the intensity of my colors very visible but only remove any harsh lines from the face. And with my dry blending sponge I always go back to tap onto the skin so that I make sure I press the pigment onto her skin and remove any extra product on her face. Now it's time to blend the nose. And after blending, it's time to set everything with my filter effect with powder in number 0.2 with my powder puff. And I make sure that I tap all over her skin to set all the product perfectly. And I remove any excess from the powder with a clean powder brush in number 25. Now using the face palette in number 222, I go back into the contoured areas to make sure that I saturate the contrast even more. And I start with the eye makeup application. With a very small amount of the concealer in number one, I add onto her lid. I then use from the Anastasia Lip Artist palette a burgundy color to start layering it on her eyelid. And with an eyeshadow from Anastasia, I start puffing all the way up to her crease to build the intensity of my shadow and blend it all the way up to her eyebrow. I'm going to add a darker shade of brown onto the outer corner of her eye. And with a shimmery golden color from Anastasia, I'm going to apply it on the mobile part of her eye up towards the crease. And for the inner corner of her eye, I'm going to use a vibrant yellow color just to puff up the color of her eye even more. Drawing a very thin eyeliner on the roots of her lashes. And I blend it out towards the outer corner of her eye. I'm going to repeat the same thing on the lower lash line starting with the orangey color from Anastasia and I puff it out so that I make sure I don't have any harsh lines making sure that I connect the upper and the lower lid together. And I make sure always to puff out the intensity of the eyeshadow so that it gives me a very elongated eye shape and I connect it a little bit also with her blush. As for her eyebrows, I'm going to brush the eyebrows with the eyebrow gel mascara from Anastasia in Caramel to keep them extremely natural and light. And I'm going to pencil them in a very soft way. Mm -hmm. 
lashes are from the Samer Khuzami lashes in number 222 and I make sure that I keep the opacity of my eyeshadow very very vibrant I'm going to apply mascara to combine the fake and the real lashes together As for the lips, I'm going to try two colors for you guys, starting with a very nude color on her lips so that I focus more on the vibrant colors of her eyeshadow. I'm using the highlighter from the face palette in medium to give her more glow onto her cheekbones. Retouching a little bit with the face palette just to give her the extra glow. And basically the look is done. So guys basically this is the look with a nude uh, lipstick. But why don't we go for something more vibrant on the lips this time. With a vibrant red. So I'm going to overlay the Sephora lip stain in red using my applicator brush in number 22 and here it is with a very flashy and vibrant color here's a quick before and after for the whole look I really hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial and I'll definitely see you in the next one